A sword turning ceremony was held for the construction of a jetty in the community of Miku, signifying a dawn of new opportunities with improved infrastructure, productivity and resilience within the fisheries sector. The new jetty's construction forms part of a broader component of the government's development agenda, directly benefiting local fishermen by enhancing safety measures and facilitating smoother operations. Parliamentary representative for Miku North, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, says initiatives such as this underscores the government's commitment to empowering local communities and leveraging the untapped potential of coastal regions for sustainable growth. The fishermen of Miku, they continue, they have been, they have been and they continue to contribute and continue to be major contributors to the economic development of St. Lucia. So every opportunity that we get to do something for these fishermen, we should welcome it. We should make the most of it. So I'm happy that when I call, and I call very often, and I think the minister said that he alluded to the point that I don't give him a chance to sleep, even the minister of infrastructure. And that is because of I understand what it means for the people of Miku, for the fishermen of Miku, what this jetty means for them. Speaking at the ceremony, Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, expressed his excitement for the project and stressed its potential to transform the fishing community. I'm very happy today that we are here for this sorting ceremony to kickstart a wooden jetty which I know will be a lot more effective and efficient in terms of its functions. Government is doing a lot for our fishers because we understand the role that our fishers play in helping us meet our food security and nutrition. And we will continue to provide them the support that they need. As construction is slated to commence, the government of St. Lucia reaffirms its commitment to stimulating economic activity and fortifying coastal communities against challenges that plague the fisheries industry. From the communications unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.